And I'm going to go ahead and torch some of these bubbles just because I want to make sure I can identify what's paint gunk and what's air bubbles because I just mixed this paint a little while ago so it's possible that there's a lot of air bubbles in it. So, I think this is going to be beautiful. I know that you can't exactly see the detail and I'm probably going to have to show you the detail after it's resined and it dries. Maybe we'll do the resin all in one video or we'll do it as a separate video. I'm not sure. So once it has pretty much settled down on the dripping, you can see what I've been doing is taking my finger and kind of taking some of the drips I'm putting them on the corners because of course we're not going to waste that paint down there we're going to tilt it into something pretty i love these colors together some of the colors didn't quite separate as much as i thought they might um they might have been thinner but i kind of like it and so i think once it dries you'll see the definition and the differences but for now super cool so what you want to do in this instance is you want to grab this very carefully like this you know don't freak out too much because ultimately it's going to keep running a little bit the only thing is this one is kind of big so i'm trying to make sure that i don't just knock it clean off after i just did all that and unfortunately, I'm dripping a little bit into our tilting paint. Oh, crap. Y'all would not believe what I just did. I just tilted it and grabbed it. Oh, man. That is terrible. So, I'm going to move you to where I am. Because this is real life. These things happen. So, I just moved it off the camera and you can't see it, but I just accidentally tilted it and grabbed it around the edge. So, one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to fix it. It is gonna keep running down, but there are some places where I straight up grabbed it. I never meant to do that, obviously, but that was my concern about this face is it's a kind of a different shape and it's very top heavy so I'm just going to do my best to fix it and trust that it's going to keep running and kind of fix itself you can't actually see very well what I did but I mean I basically gripped it around the neck of the face pretty substantially so I'm just going to try to blend it a little and hope for the best Sorry if you can see me, I'm not really supposed to be in the camera. But I'm trying to make sure we save it. And I think it's gonna be okay. Oh, I did it again. Sheesh. Hmm. Now, um, where I just turned you around is kind of where I need to put the tripod back, so. And I'm hoping that it is fixed. Grr. And I'm sure it kind of just looks teal from where you are, but it is like this beautiful blue iridescent teal, light green. It's really very pretty. So I'm trying to make sure it's as level as it can be. Otherwise, paint's gonna come off one side more than the other. I'm also trying to make sure that I got my fiasco. Here's hoping, right? <clears throat> what a mess. <clears throat> so normally, <clears throat> excuse me, normally we would tilt only what's left on this painting. 
and that may be enough but it also may not be enough so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to while we get our other painting going I'm going to dump oh I almost dropped you guys onto the painting we have some really beautiful colors here but I think what I'm also going to do is put some of these primary elements sort of um, on the outskirts so as we tilt we hopefully get them in the mix maybe in the middle because man are they beautiful and then same with this bayou blue normally what I love about uh, base pours is the middle turns into like this really cool knot but considering I don't want to waste these not even a little bit I'm gonna incorporate them in some places and I'm trying to make sure they're not so far off the edge of the canvas that that will tilt them and lose them but I also don't want to completely corrupt our base pour design either. So and I usually oh I have more in the cup too, so A lot more in the cup actually so we've already kind of got a little bit to start our next base pour and I'm um, getting really uncomfortably close to my vase over there that's drying Man, I can't believe I did that oh yes I can it's that's the unfortunate thing is I totally can believe that can totally believe that it's just still very sucky that that happened this is the fun thing about fluid art is you can be a little unpredictable and it's okay these colors are beautiful now we're gonna fill in a little bit And if you hear noise, it's my husband in the garage. I think these are also pretty shimmery out here, so I'm just going to kind of make a connection with what we've got going on in the middle. Try not to waste paint, but by the same token, I don't want to overstretch it either. So and I guess I had the base in kind of a weird place. All right, so... I kind of think I might have overdone that in the middle there. This is going to be kind of strange looking, so we're going to tilt really slowly. I also have a bunch of paint right next to it, so I need to be careful to not tilt all the excess in those paints. I can see that The stuff I added in the middle is kind of awkward. So I don't want to lose that Snapdragon. So I think what we're going to do is do that and do this. 
this. And then the rest of that, I'm just gonna put on top of this other base pour for now. Let it just start to sink down on that base. I know that I kind of created a weird little looking thing in the middle, but and I forgot to torch it. Today is not my my day for the painting world. I just mixed this paint a while ago, so the bubbles are there, I promise. That's all right, and there's gunk of some sort right there on this side. Before I completely finish stretching this, I think I'm going to add a little bit of this to the corner. It'll come off. Man, that color is beautiful. So primary elements are um, mixed with a paint binder mixture, um, usually vivid enamels or polypore. These were mixed with polypore. The rest of the paint mixture is mixed with a 60-40 glue and water. Yeah, what I did on that corner there is not working out. Okay, before I mess with this too much more, I'm going to get my sides because I'm overstretching for silly spaces that could be easily filled in. So I actually really like this. There are some places that I probably would have done differently. Like I kind of want to get that center a little bit. I don't want it in the center, but I do want it a little bit further down, a little bit further this way. So this top part, however, is a little bit muddier. It's okay, like it doesn't bother me, but. And I'm gonna have to undo that purple foolishness. I don't know why I put that there. I think in my mind it was gonna look natural, but it doesn't. So I'm going to have to somehow deal with it. Maybe I'll just mute it with my finger. I can tilt it off, that's going to be the best case. The problem is, like, I'm afraid to overstretch it at this point. But the, the depth of the painting is definitely down here. So if I can get more of that and less of this, I can live with that. I'm about to drop paint on the floor. But I got that off. We are probably way out of frame, I'm sorry. Okay. I am fairly pleased with this. Um, there are some things I would have like to do different, like the center that I added, I like it. I like it now. At first, I really didn't like it that much. But now I like it. And I like that we got, we got it to move. I also like that it do doesn't look like like we did it right in the center anymore, so it's not 
it's not perfectly in the middle. I didn't really like that. So I'm going to bring you down for a close up and hopefully, and I really love it. Like I can tell when it dries, it's going to dry really beautiful. I need to stop messing with it or it's not going to dry very beautiful. But the shimmer and the primary elements mixed in with the other paints really works. And I honestly like it upright like this. It sort of looks like a messy ring pour um, at the same time. So I really want to fix this corner where I just messed with it. I'm kind of afraid I'm going to make it worse. Yep, I am. Bear with me for a second. I need to not mess with corners and screw them up like that because then we end up like tilting really good stuff off of painting to fix a stupid corner. And I keep trying to find a piece of color that's more similar so I can fix it without making it worse. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay. Yeah. It's really hard to see how beautiful it is. Okay, let me take my gloves off. And then... Oops, I already got paint on the floor. I do it every single time. Okay. So here's the bottom left hand corner, the top left hand corner, sorry about the glare, bottom right hand corner, probably a favorite part of mine, and then the top right hand corner, and then of course there's the little detail we had in the middle, it's really beautiful. Let me see if I can let you see the vase, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. But this is sort of the detail of the vase. Hopefully we have a... You still can't tell how pretty it is. Sorry, I hear you hear my dog scratching. I'm hoping that I was able to undo the damage I did, but the top is gorgeous. So, my dogs are trying to make a debut. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. About to do the second one.